1994 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee Elton John. It's a very good night to be British because <laughs> three of the finest acts um, of the last 30 years that came out of Britain are here tonight and being honored. I'm here to honor and present uh, the award to Elvis Costello and the attractions. And um, I'm going to talk more about Elvis, and Elvis is going to do the attractions, okay? Um, Elvis Costello was born Declan Patrick McManus, and his mother's maiden name was Costello, so he had half of it there. Um, and like me, he came from a musical family. Um, my dad played in a dance band, and his dad, Ross McManus, was the singer for the Joe Loss Orchestra, and he was a bloody good singer. Um, his mum worked in a record shop, and I envy her that because I mean, it's one thing I've always wanted to do. And uh, at 12 years old, his dad bought him a guitar, and it's the same year, 1966, as three rather good albums came out um, Revolver by the Beatles, Blonde on Blonde by Bob Dylan, and Pet Sounds by the Beach Boys. Can't really beat those three, can you? I mean, and from then, his influences like Marvin Gaye, Aretha Franklin, Otis Redding. And then he, you know, you can tell with his music and his songwriting, listening to it later, there's been, he's like a chameleon, Elvis. He writes such wonderful lyrics, but his songs have no musical boundaries. And that's why I love what he does. He's never been afraid to take a chance, never been afraid to take a risk. Elvis Costello is completely his own man when it comes to deciding what music he's going to make. In 1976, I'm sort of going all over the place here, but he, he changed his name. I mean, you can't really... I was Reginald Kenneth Dwight, and there was no f way that I was going to be Reginald Kenneth Dwight when my first album came out. <laughs> so I chose a name that I thought would be different. Elton. I couldn't think of anybody except an obscure English folk artist called Elton Hayes who had the name Elton. And uh, I chose John from Long John Baldry. Elvis had Costello from his mother's maiden name, but he had to choose a name to go with it, and the cheeky f chose Elvis. <laughs> I mean, really. What a f nerve, Elvis. And, uh, and boy, oh boy, did that work, because, you know, after Elvis Presley came Elvis Costello, who was totally different in music, but just as influential um, to people who followed him. A um, great deal of uh, credit must go to the attractions who... <laughs> Pete Thomas, Bruce Thomas, Steve Neve. The first album, My Aim Is True, didn't have the attractions on it. Uh, it was produced by Nick Lowe, who's a f great producer and a British legend in his own right. And for a first album, I remember my first album, and it had one good song on it, and his first album had Alison and uh, Watching the Detectives on it, so, I mean, that wasn't a bad start. Um, but the next album, this year's model, um, with Pump It Up, Radio, Radio, and I Don't Want to Go to Chelsea, was an amazing album. It debuted at four in England and three in America, and truly, people were taking notice of what was an incredible resurgence in English music. Uh, I remember sitting in bed one day at about 12.30 looking into this uh, weekend show on a Sunday and it was about the Sex Pistols, The Clash and Susie and the Banshees and I was sitting there and they're going, well he's a f***ing old fart Elton John, he's f***ing boring and I was going, what the f*** is going on here? Um, <laughs> uh, but you know what? They had a point. Um, <laughs> one other thing which is completely irrelevant. As a, um, a porno fanatic myself, um, <laughs> not the straight variety, I have to say, um, there was a series of porno films made in the 1970s produced by a guy called William Higgins. And the music was really good, which is, it makes a change, you know? And the guy who wrote it, his name was Costello Presley. And, uh, <laughs> I have a feeling that Elvis is hiding something. <laughs> I won't go on any further, but say it's, it is an incredible honor and privilege to present um, a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame award to the attractions and Elvis Costello.